Hey, uh, today what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to try and germinate uh, uh, a different type of uh, seed than I've ever tried before. Show them to you here. Those are uh, sawtooth oak. Uh, I read up online about them. Uh, a gentleman I know, uh, he's got several trees and he was uh, kind enough to allow me to collect uh, some uh, acorns off of him and give him a try. It's a little windy, but we'll see what happens here. Now, I got me a bag. This ain't the bag I'm on plant them in, but uh, the bag that I got sphagnum peat moss in. Now, the peat moss, all I'm going to do is, is I just poured water in there and you can see that's that's way too much water so but I ain't planning on dropping them in that much water now what I'm going to do is, is I got another bag here it's marked uh, I'm going to grab that peat moss and I'm just going to squeeze squeeze the water out of there I want it to be damp. I don't want it to be soaking wet. I'm going to treat these the same way that I've treated all my seeds and uh, stratify them because they do need a cold period in order to uh, germinate. And I'm going to lay some in there the same way. Now, what I did look into these, uh, come to find out that uh, they're from Asia. They're in Asian, or Japan, China, Korea. They're an Asian type uh, oak. And the gentleman that uh, I got the seed from uh, has told me that about how the deer and turkeys just go after them like crazy they love them and from what I've uh, looked at about them there are earlier producing acorn than a lot of your oaks are unless you have hybrid oaks uh, I have some hybrid oaks out there that uh, shouldn't be producing uh, acorns and they just started producing acorns this year uh, I got one particular tree across there has produced acorn uh, probably the last two years and this year it produced a lot and uh, it's a hybrid uh, bur oak uh, these right here are supposed to be a faster growing tree than the average uh, oak tree and uh, the shape of the leaf is uh, I guess kind of Put your mind about a chestnut leaf or a beech nut leaf. Uh, they're pretty trees, as far as the trees that my friend has. Uh, very pretty trees, and maybe as time goes, you'll give me an opportunity to go over there and try to do a little bit of air layering off of them. I don't know, but. We're going to plant some of these bad boys this year, or next spring rather, and uh, see what we can come up with. The uh, caps on these are a lot different also, they, they kind of uh, kind of puts your mind of a bur oak cap a little bit, but uh, that's all of them in there, a total of 25. I'll put some of these out in the yard, uh, see how they do. Uh, and 
then I'll uh, probably give some of them away or sell some of them rather wife's kind of gotten on to me about doing this and not making anything out of it you know she kind of let me know that you could be making money doing that which that's yeah, true I could be there you have it now all I got to do is perforate the bag with a toothpick like I normally do all the others and uh, give it that code period it needs and like I said when I looked into it it said it needed uh, about 60 days you're looking at two months which I'll keep a close eye uh, well it says one month to 60 days stratification I'll keep a close eye on it and we'll see and then uh, maybe I can keep you posted as to uh, how they grow they're supposed to be a fast growing tree so we'll see but in any event let me get this downstairs get the toothpick to it and perforate all over that bag so they have airflow and we'll see what happens my name's Jim you like what you see subscribe